Hey y'all, we moved to our next project. We got a uh, dock that's already been built by Alan's crew over here. Got that knocked out quick. They've moved on to the next job and set some poles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on this thing. We got a, uh, I think it's 14 by 28 foot hip style boathouse. We're going to be build, building right here. We got our material coming out now, putting the scaffolding up right now. And I'll go ahead and get some videos as we progress to this, trying to explain exactly how we put them together. Thanks. Sometimes you get crooks in the poles and they don't line up exactly where you need them. So you just run a diagonal ratchet strap across and uh, whichever side needs to come in and tighten it up. Once you get the, everything framed on top of it and everything tied in, it stays right in place. Here's how we get our boathouses squared up. Put a couple two before braces on the outside so we can run some screws and try to get everything intersecting correctly. And then we'll pull a diagonal to this uh, point right here all the way over to the other point over here on both sides. First, we'll make sure all sides are even, front and back and sides, then we'll pull a diagonal and get our square pull. Is that where you want it at? As long as you hold the same place both directions, both places. Some really good progress this morning. Got the bands put up, all the poles notched, bands up. Getting ready to start uh, screwing all the bands together and uh, drilling for the uh, 5 8 bolts. Getting rafters put up on this boathouse this morning. A beautiful sunrise and be another hot day. Here this morning, joining us watching the trailer. You cut them too fast. <laughs> yeah. Two by six collar ties, we got them slid all the way up with some half inch galvanized bolts in them. That prevents the uh, roof from wanting to settle down, keeps a nice shape. Also get it up real high where you can get a uh, crow's nest on your boat, lift it real high on top of the boathouse. Oh, 
getting our measurements now for all of our jacks on the end. We get them all laid out on the board here, get them measured up and get them cut and put in place. Jacks are the extension of the hip roof. It's a little bit smaller uh, rafter than the common rafters. The common rafters are the long ones that go all the way up to the ridge. And the ridge is this part here in the middle. And the hips are the one that goes kind of at a diagonal down to the corner of the boathouse. The bird mouth notches gives the rafter a nice flat place to sit on the roof band. We also tie all these down with a uh, galvanized hurricane clip. Hey, we got good progress going on this project right here. They got all the rafters up. We got the hurricane clips on. There's also rafter ties across the top. It's a steel strap that connects both of the commons together. We got that up and uh, we're getting the uh, outside of the commons and the uh, jacks all cut now. So we're gonna run a fascia around. It'll be a two by eight by 20 foot fascia on the outside of it. And then we'll start getting some plywood put on there. We're getting really close to uh, being ready for shingles for this thing. Hopefully get shingles on it in the morning. We got the boat lift on the way. Go ahead and get the boat lift installed. Definitely got a beautiful day to work out here, but it sure is hot.
Hey y'all, thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now, hit the like and share button. If you got any comments or questions on how we do this, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll try to get back with you. Got a lot more projects coming up, so y'all keep on watching.